This game is rated M and is intended for mature audiences. <laughs> Don't let your kids watch it! Hey there, Artie! Eventually, I decided to actually go to the clinic. Maybe he can get tested for insanity. I really didn't want to go outside, but a stronger feeling that th than that desire was the fear that Rena might actually be keeping an eye on me to see if I went to the hospital. Mmm, maybe. I could see that happening. But before I went to the clinic, there was something I wanted to make sure of. It was at school. I pretended I'd forgotten something, and was going back to the classroom to pick it up. As soon as the thought crossed my mind, I was overwhelmed by paranoia. I was just going to the classroom, but I hated it so much, having to be so careful to fake it. After carefully verifying once more nobody was watching, I went over to the locker. Yes, Satoshi's locker. I committed the crime with the bat I found in this locker. Satoshi's bat. And then, I had thrown the bat into the swamp. Which meant, the bat shouldn't have been inside. But, but, what if the bat was still in here? It was a very dreadful, incomprehensible idea. But if it was true, it would explain a lot. If the bat was in here, yesterday's events would have all been a delusion. No, an illusion. I hadn't killed anyone, and I'd gone to the festival. I had a great time rampaging about with everyone. It would prove that Keiichi Mayabara was really me. Proof that I was only under some strange assumption that I had killed Satoko's uncle. Proof that it had all been a wild fantasy. That would explain everything. Nothing happened yesterday. I had just gone mad, unable to separate my shocking, uncle-killing dream from reality. That would explain everything. If the bat was here, would I be able to accept that reality? If it was here, nothing will have changed. You think the evidence is going to go missing because of the girls, and KG will think he didn't actually kill Tim? <laughs> oh, that's that's definitely possible. I mean, he's already going crazy, though. If it was here, it would just mean I'd gone crazy. Preparing myself for the worst, I opened the locker door. I was actually scared of opening it slowly, so I threw it open with a bane. <laughs> and just like the first time, the choking scent of smell and sweat, like a stale towel, came flowing out. There was a baseball uniform, and some miscellaneous other things like notebooks. There was also a shoe pouch. And as for the bat, it wasn't here. It was how I left it when I took the bat out. There was no doubt, yesterday really happened. Now that I knew I wasn't a lunatic, I felt relieved. But at the same time, if I wasn't the crazy one, then Hinamizawa was. And that was evidence of a reality I found just as difficult to accept. Now, I think you are still going crazy, just not in the way you're thinking. There was noise somehow creeping into everything I saw, and the world was losing a tiny bit of color. So what did I know about last night now? Now that I'd made sure the bat wasn't here, I wouldn't need to be here anymore. Shall I go? For real, to the hospital. Also, keep in mind... Remember that the, when I first started this, they had that preface like, this is the shortest story, and as for its difficulty, you won't even be able to really make any guesses as to what the heck is happening. So this is, I think, it's just going to go absolutely insane by the end. It was my first time going to the hospital, but from what I'd heard, it wasn't far from school. My mom had told me where it was. A big, easy-to-see road went straight there. I went past the shopping street, made a turn. It wasn't overly hard to spot the sign with Eerie Clinic written on it. Oh, yep! Eerie Clinic! That's Coach. Coach Eerie. There was one other person, an older man, there in the air-conditioned waiting room. I went up to the counter and told them it was my first time here. The man behind the counter glanced at the clock and said it would be a short wait. It was almost five. Clinic hours would be ending soon. As I sat in this unfamiliar waiting room, isolated from everyone, and let myself feel the cool air, I actually felt relieved. What should I tell the doctor when he comes? I could tell him I had a cold, but I was the very picture of health. Actually, I wanted him to check my head. I wanted someone to confirm for me whether I was really sane or not. Huh? That voice from the other side of the examination curtain. I thought I'd heard it somewhere before. Konnichiwa. Oh, Dane! Coach looking bussin' in his doctor's uniform. Wow! Oh, dude. Like, I'm not the biggest fan of Coach here, but dang, he looks good in that outfit. Wow. 
Man, that's awesome. Damn, like, that looks, that looks really good. Very, very handsome. Again, he's very handsome, but it belies the horrors within. <laughs> People call him doctor. Now that you mention it, he did seem to know his way around when he was looking at my shoulder in the nurse's office. It would make sense if he was actually a doctor. People call him doctor. <laughs> Come to think of it, our teacher called him Iri Sensei, didn't she? <laughs> More or less, a it's your clinic! It's the Iri Clinic! <laughs> Don't say something creepy and perverted. No. <laughs> Try not to say something creepy challenge, Coach Edition. Impossible. Absolutely not. That would be inappropriate. Oh man, he is really creepy. Based KG. Polite bow. Okay, well, read the room, dude. Most people aren't cool with jokes like that. It's not the chest, it's the head. <laughs> like I said, he looks nice, but it belies the horrors within. For some reason, I felt really relieved. After that insane night, as much as I thought everything, everything had gone crazy, Coach was here doing the same thing he always did. I was very happy for that. Oh, I'm not. Hmm. Oh, the, the, those are fine. 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 Did you see me there, Coach? If if Coach saw me there, I'm gonna be really freaked out. And once again, I apparently went to the festival. I don't know if he just guessed it. Or not. Oh, I'm the director of <laughs> that would have made him wait. That would have made him a lot better if he was simping for the teacher. I would totally. I'd get him on that. The teacher's hot. <laughs> this coach was the same coach that I'd always known, and I felt like I could trust him more than my weird friends. So I asked. Okay. Okay. So he didn't actually. He was just guessing that we were too crazy at the festival. Yeah, it was. Th th yeah, Coach let out a laugh. He didn't laugh in an unnatural way, like Mion and Rena did. Coach was okay. He was the coach from the world I knew. <laughs> Mandela effect. Everyone got swapped with a different alternate universe version of themselves. He was the coach from the world I knew. He wasn't someone from this abnormal world. Dude, stop being such a pervert. <laughs> <laughs> Why are you asking him that? <laughs> Coach hadn't expected that question at all. It couldn't say anything for a moment. But then, he smiled calmly and answered quietly. あと、<laughs> おとぎ話にも自分の分身が登場する話がいろいろありますよ。ドイツのおとぎ話に出てくるドッペルのお化けなどは有名です。ドッペルのお化け。ええ、自分の姿に売り二つなんだそうです。不幸の前触れなんです
to be fair, I think Coach just says creepy fiends. I don't think we've seen any evidence of him actually doing creepy things. Small comfort. <laughs> but you know, it's a, it's saying something weird leads to actually doing something weird. When you meet them, you're sure to die soon. The story ended directly in death, plain and simple, and it made my spine tingle. Coach wasn't saying it to scare me, though. He was just offering a casual anecdote, but that made me feel all the more real. <laughs> One of those things. Hey, ex-dude. Welcome to Halloween stream. Because <laughs> I think there's a fake me running around. <laughs> Coach must have thought he was being teased, so he laughed in an, ex in an exaggerated way. But when I didn't smile along with him, his laughter steadily grew fainter. その、ちょっと真面目な話のつもりだったんで。いえ、こっちこそ笑ってすみませんでした。何か気になることでも終わりですか。I <笑> wondered if I should tell him. Then after resolving myself one final time, I slowly spoke. 俺、昨日はお祭りに行っていないんです。そうでしたか。お祭りは来年もあります。その時また。we got a couple possibilities, Keiichi. None of them pleasant. After blinking his eyes in amazement, Coach thought seriously about what I was trying to say. And he answered, choosing his words carefully. Okay. Bar, how many beers did you have before that night? I think like tw 14? <laughs> it just keeps going up. I was trying to say something completely different, but I suppose any sane person would come to that conclusion. That night, Keiji Maibara was actually at the festival, but I was saying I didn't go. That obviously meant my memories of going there had failed me. But that was absolutely impossible. That vivid act I had committed during the downpour couldn't possibly have been an illusion. All these scrapes on my body prove it, as does the fact that the bat wasn't in the locker. Okay, I'm pretty sure if you confess that you committed murder to Coach, I don't care about doctor-patient confidentiality, I think he has to legally report that to the police. <laughs>気づいたら見知らぬ場所にいたとか、そういう記憶の欠落を経験されたことがありますか。ないです。それに記憶を失ったとかそういうのじゃない。だってその祭りの時間には別の用事をたしかにやっていました。Don't ask what I was doing. I'm pretty sure doctor-patient confidentiality is specifically with regards to the conditions of your health. Not for unrelated things. So like, if we told- if... If he found out we had, say, like, stomach cancer, he can't go saying, Oh yeah, I treated Keiichi, he has stomach cancer to other people. Like, yeah, that has to be part of the confidentiality. Or alternatively, like, like if you killed somebody, but then they, like, before they killed you, killed them, they attacked you back, and you got an injury. The doctor can't be forced to testify in court about your injury, if that makes sense, because that's part of the confidentiality. Hmm. <laughs>完全にはっきりとした記憶いや事実ですお祭りの時間に神社にいなくてよそで別の用事をしていたそれをはっきりした形で証明できますかお祭りの時間に神社にいなくてよそで別の用事をしていたそれをはっきりした形で証明できますか
Coach saw me struggling to answer, and his eyes looked a little cold. I guess they would. After all, from Coach's perspective, I was just a weirdo sputtering nonsense. I don't want you giving me any kind of sedatives. <laughs> yeah, nothing says that you're normal like yelling, I'm not strange at the top of your lungs. So hard that the screen shakes. I realized Coach was treating me like a deviant, so I raised my voice. Coach was stunned and stared in stupefaction. Mm. Coach jotted down a brief note in his records. He was writing it in German. What? So that his patient wouldn't know what it said. <laughs> oh, oh, clever coach. But I could make a good guess as to what he wrote. How does the sprite look in other art styles? That's a good question. So uh, here he... Okay, I just generally don't like the original art style. Everyone looks pretty derpy and off-model. Here, he, Coach looks way more sinister in the console art style here. Like, way more sinister. But, like, here he actually looks friendly and pleasant, which is why I like this art style the best. Although, admittedly, maybe the console art style works better. <laughs> uh, okay, I believe you. Before I sat, I tilted my head back a little. The blood in my face all drained out, and I quieted down. Hmm. After taking a deep breath, I made sure that I was calm now. Is he gonna, is he gonna confess? Yeah, oh my... Why is he confessing to Coach? Coach is gonna rat him out. Should I tell him or not? Are you gonna give me the choice? I really didn't want to go on living like this, feeling this horrible. And I said them. The final fatal words. Oof. I could smell the concrete in the room. I could feel the air around us sharpen. Why are we getting, like, the gentle piano music for the... Not, like, the creepy music. Nobody moved. Only the sound of the clock ticking told us time hadn't stopped. <laughs> he still has this frozen, like, So tell me what's on your mind, man, face. With his mouth wide open, Coach even forgot to blink for a little while. Anataka. <laughs> Just a little bit. <laughs> Don't... Yeah, I, I think he legally has to. Like, literally. Yeah. It's fine now, Keiji Maibara. Don't hesitate. Admit it. With all your strength. I'm I'm waiting for Coach to be like, that can't be right! I was killing him! <laughs> Everyone killed the uncle. I spoke clearly and fluidly. I could easily tell that the coach's mind had gone completely blank. In my defense, he was a scumbag. Sadoko's <laughs> Jeez. So. <laughs> He's like, I respect it! <laughs> Coach smiled thinly and nodded a bit. I left the brightness of my house for the darkness of the outside. After that, I dug holes, made phone calls, I had my hands full. And then I attacked him, killed him, and buried him. It was pouring hard at the time. The festival started that evening, but was suspended due to the rain. There were no gaps in my memories. From the late afternoon until it started to rain, there was no time for me to have possibly gone to the festival. Coach is taking this remarkably well. 
サトコの家を少し行ったところにリンあそこで襲い逃げるあいつを追い町に至る一本道で殺すに至りましたそれは本当に Killing her uncle, it wasn't some wild fantasy. I could tell that coach didn't believe me. So I spoke slowly, not letting myself grow excited. Honto des Satoshi no batto de. Now, so no batto wa. I tsuga no tekita bike to ishoni, numani stemasta. Staiwa, Korosta basho ni ana o hori, umemasta. Subete, Chibunga hitori de arimasta. Satoko chan no ojiwa. I still have no idea how he got the uncle off the motorcycle when he was driving it. Deva Anatawa, Soreo Kitaiste, Enento Machibuseo. I took a yekara denai kotoa, so taste the master. Dagra, Deva de Tectona Uso Sabete, I took a decacarioni shimuke master. Deva de Yobidesta. Demo Anata no yeto, Satoko chan no yeva, Hanaratimas. Denwa Stekara deva. とても待ち伏せに間に合わないのでは。<笑> After that, Coach grilled me on a few different things regarding the incident. He made sure to question me carefully, looking for any contradictions in my account. I explained everything, including minor details that only someone who had actually committed the act could explain. Now, now Coach has all the dirt on us. He can prove we did it. I could, of course. It was only yesterday. Coach realized that my story had no expedient co coincidences or too convenient details that would have existed in a daydream or a delusion, and finally seemed to want to believe me. Kore demo mada, ore ga kiyoku naku shite matsuri kaijou ni itta to omoimasu ka? I diagnosed you with dead. Coach slowly shook his head. Demo, class no minna ga, kino tashika ni ore ga matsuri ni itta to iimasu. Sonna koto ga arieru desho ka? あるわけがないきっとクラスの皆さんはあなたによく似た誰かとあなたを見間違えたのだよ。あなたは、no way Mion doesn't know. She's like, okay, he asked me to kill this guy. I told him he's crazy. Then he called me saying, hey, can I pick up Satoko? I have something to do. I can't make it to the festival. Like, Mion's smart, okay? Like, she can put two, you can add two and two together to get four. So she's probably like, look, guys, we, we like as his friends, we we gotta we gotta make the, the pact to not rat him out. <laughs> and Keiji's just too stupid to to recognize this. <laughs> that's that's potentially also true. So then, in the middle of the night, everyone is sleeping. You guys are all together to go to the festival. There is no They couldn't have mistaken me. Mion and all the rest said they were spending time with Keiichi Mayabara. It was much more than just having mistaken someone else for me. But saying that out loud would just confuse Coach. He spoke to me in whispered tones. It didn't sound like he was criticizing me. And even if he had, I would have flatly said the same thing. I don't think that's happening. Because we're going to be able Oh, I I honestly feel like Rika is secretly the smartest character here. Rika 100% knows and is way more savvy than she's letting on. We saw that in Chapter 2, where we like told her everything we did and she's just like, leave everything to me. That, that part gave me chills. 
。私はあなたにこう言います。Oh, you kind of sinister there. Oh, that's, that's a, Coach, man, that's a little bit too close, all right? Coach slowly rose and placed a hand on my shoulder. Satoko chan mo, skutte krete, arigato. Coach's eyes started shedding warm tears. When I looked at him, I started to feel some tears of my own. <laughs> I didn't know what I was crying for. And so, for a little while, the two men in the room fought back their tears. <laughs> But I'm gonna have to call the police on you. <laughs> Maybe he has an identical twin. Pete? <laughs> Coach's expression immediately sharpened. Uh -oh. <laughs> We mushed his brains to a pulp with a baseball bat and then buried him in a watery grave. He is dead. Okay, got a baseball bat? <laughs> In two hours, Coach rolled up a health and fitness weekly po week poster nearby and offered it to me to represent the bat. Th that's also true. We can't forget that Rika had a syringe on her, or her corpse had a syringe on her in her pocket in Chapter 2. That's still a big mystery. Either, some, either, either Walter White is planting stuff on her to get away with his crimes, or there's something very dark going on there. Or both, honestly. Though I may have been lost to the emotions of a beast of a night, I remembered in detail the number of times I swung the bat, the angles I had swung from, and the force I had applied. That's. You remember all that? Okay. Using Coach as a stand in for the uncle, I reproduced them over, one by one. So, I was going to get my ass out of the way, and I was going to get my ass out of the way. Where would Rika have gotten the sedation drugs, though? <laughs> Unless she had diabetes, but I don't think she has diabetes. I think she gives people diabetes. Coach was calmly analyzing this information, using the places I'd struck and the situation at hand to find out what state the uncle's body had been in. Even if he miraculously survived, there's no way he's going back to his house. He's going to the hospital. He's not gonna like, come back home with a mushed in brain and skull and be like, There's a Toko, you're the worst! So, she's also hallucinating here. So, she said, I'm not going to die. 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 Shino is the male twin. <laughs> Coach folded his arms and said, hmm, a few times. And then he spoke. Shindeimasu.ほぼ間違いなく。それは仮死状態ではなく。前原さんの話からだけでは、なかなか判断がつきませんが、ほぼそれに前原さんは死体を泥の中に埋め、結構な時間をかけて埋めていますよね。仮に
可能性。We only know, we only noticed his motorcycle, but at the same time, who else would be on his motorcycle? And he sounded like he did when he was talking to Satogo. <laughs> He's right. That could be why. It cleared up the inconsistency of my definitely having killed someone, but him still being alive. So not so nice. That's cool. 監督と一緒に佐藤の家の前で酒瓶の袋を運んだ時窓から顔を出した男がいたじゃないですかあいつですよね佐藤のおじはええ間違いありませんよあの男です実はもう一人おじがいるなんてことは<笑>テペンペテ聞いたことがありませんあの男だけですあいつの特徴を教えてもらえますかえー、っとまず身長がですね175もう少しあるかもしれませんえっと身長が1 5 0五。ちょっと待ってくださいよ。ちょっと待ってくださいよ。ちょっと待ってくまあ、ね、まあ、これはね、ちょっと、これはね、ちょっと、これはね、ちょっと、これはね、ちょっと、これはね、ちょっと、これはね、ちょっと、これはね、ちょっと、これはね、ちょっと、これはね、ちょっと、これはね、ちょっと、これはね、ちょっと、これはね、ちょっと、これはね、ちょっと、これはね、ちょっと、これ虎だかなんだかの入れ墨がある。なんていうタイプの気がします。入れ墨。that was really important。not everyone had a tattoo。if I found a tiger tattoo on the back of the man's corpse。it would be proof I'd killed the right one。at the moment though。there was one other thing that would verify this。to go to Satoko's house。And see for myself that the uncle had returned home despite having died. That's what I would say you do. You and Coach should probably both go there, because that way, if he isn't there and Satoko is reacting to nobody being there and thinking he's there, he can take her in and get her the help she probably needs. I don't want to trust that to Coach, but. I mean, he's our only option at this point. But that was far more terrifying than digging up the body and looking at its back. Without even looking at the tattoo, I knew for sure the one I'd killed had been Satoko's uncle. I cracked his head open and killed him. And yet, he'd gone back home. There wasn't any misunderstanding or even the shadow of a mind in my a doubt in my mind about having killed him. And yet, it was impossible for him to exist. Kind of like how Keiichi Mayabara had been at the festival despite it being impossible. That small commonality made me feel as though a faint but bizarre force was permeating this, inside this insane Himizawa. Like I said, this guy, this guy is remarkably calm about a 15 year old kid being like, hey, I murdered someone. Here's exactly how I did it. He's just like, oh, okay. Well, I mean, the guy was a jerk, so I respect it. <laughs> oh, that's the first 実は殺人なんて存在しなかったんじゃないかと思って<笑> Just realized literally this entire situation is perfectly summarized by the first lines in Kingdom Hearts I've been having these weird thoughts lately Like is any of this for real or not? <笑>でも事実なんですこの手でバトでガツンガツンと殴ったあの家族は絶対に夢や幻なんかじゃないんです Mm-hmm. <laughs> hey, Lickens, how's it going? Coach let out a slow sigh. Then, after looking at the clock, got up. Mm-hmm. <laughs> What if, by the way, that old a guy is still sitting there? He's like, why does it take it so long to stupid kid? <laughs> oh, I, he's not the only employee. That makes sense. Coach stood up and went out into the hallway, leaving me alone. The clock was about to strike six. I was at the festival, and the uncle I'd killed was alive. Had I really committed murder yesterday? Yeah, you did! The only whisper of a fact that proved it happened was the absence of that bat from Satoshi's locker. In any case, I was glad that Coach had taken my nonsense seriously. 
Where did all my point redeems go? Uh, I turned them off temporarily for this stream, because I have a feeling fiends are going to get insane and dark. And I didn't want uh, the em more emotional and scary moments to be interrupted by people being <laughs> interrupted, being like, talk in a weird voice. <laughs> uh, you're lousy. <laughs> so I, I will turn them all back on after this stream. N never fear. I just confessed to murder. Normally that would frighten a person away. But Coach didn't run. He cried with me. I was glad he did. Like so, my tension smoothly melted away, and I suddenly realized I actually, I really had to urinate. I thought to use the restroom while Coach had stepped out. There was one across from the waiting room. The coach is going to think we booked it. <laughs> as soon as I left the room, I saw Coach and two male doctors wearing white clothing, standing in the shadows of the hallway nearby. I didn't particularly intend to eavesdrop or anything, but I was quite surprised upon noticing how e uneasy they seemed. <laughs> Dude, I wonder why! <laughs> I hid behind the wall and quietly listened in. It seemed that Coach was giving directions to two do other doctors. Uh oh. Uh -oh. oh no! Uh oh. Yeah, he's turning us in. Dancing staff, uh, Mada Naninka, no cotemska. Yama inuna story. So any water statue of Kumete Saninis. What? What was all this? I think I was already agitated, despite what Coach said. What was it? Was it just a casual conversation? And it was only sounding unbelievable to me? This actually makes a lot of sense. Coach said that he would bring some black tea and left the room. And then, in the shadows, he was telling his subordinates to put some kind of sleeping powder in the tea? Plus, they were getting extra help, in case I thought the sudden sleepiness was suspicious and started getting violent. Hey, wait, Keiji Maibara. Calm down, calm down. There's no way something this stupid could be happening. I mean, he was genuinely listening to my story, and he even cried with me. I thought, I thought he was the one person in Hinamizawa who would understand. You trusted Coach? That's your first mistake. This... This was... No, this was... He knows we're going crazy! Oh, he's actually going to help us. Oh, okay. Oh, I see what he did there. Maybe he saw we had reptile eyes. Oh! <laughs> yeah, maybe, maybe he's bringing us to a psych ward instead of prison. Honestly, I think Keiji needs that. Honestly, this makes me respect Coach a whole lot more. Oh no, but he's going to call our parents. The two doctors nodded deeply. Yep, knew it. That makes perfect sense. <laughs> Your son came to my clinic and confessed to murder. <laughs> That's going to be a fun conversation. My eyes, still moist, began to shed tears once more. This was too cruel. I really thought he had actually understood and had believed what I told him. But now, from the other side of that wall, he was bluntly treating me like a crazy person. Well, you are. <laughs> I believed you. I believed you! I had let the down my guard, because I thought you were the only ally I had left after that insane night. Was that a lie? All that, about thanking me on Satoko's behalf. Were you just pretending in order to keep me placated? <laughs> my tears fell to the floor in frustration. I was an idiot. I was an idiot! I was such an idiot for believing that bastard! I heard footsteps approaching the doctors. A man in a black shirt with no tie came running up. Oh, they found her fake body, eh? I knew there was her corpse, or quote unquote corpse, in the oil drum. <laughs> the men, all surprised, exchanged glances. Dead? Takano-san? Hey, wait, so then, does that mean when I cursed her, wishing for her death, that wish was granted? 
he did do that. <laughs> no. It's like, dang, that's like three murders in one night. I know, I know she didn't actually die. <laughs> As I cried, I laughed quietly. Serves you right. Serves you right. If I hadn't run into that woman, my murder would have been perfect. But she just had to come driving up to me and tried to coerce me like that. I regretted not having killed her on the spot, but now she was dead anyway. My curse, my wish for her demise, it was fulfilled! Serves you right. Serves you right! Lisa san ga shini. Takano san ga shini. Uh, that's like four dead people. Itta Hinamizao niwa. Nani ga okotte iru to yun desu ka? Masaka. Kore ga kotoshi no oyashiro sama no tatari da. Nante yun ja nai de shou ne. Well, you know, three's a crowd and four's a pattern. That's not a phrase. Like hell, I'll let the curse be real, Coach said. Well, everyone present just nodded, and Coach, cur Coach cursed at no one in particular. <laughs> yes, maybe it wasn't Oyashira-sama, but this was definitely a spell. A curse! I wished for her to die. So she did! If this wasn't just a coincidence, and she died because I wished for it, then you'll die next, Coach! You betrayed me! You pretended to believe me, but deep down, you thought I was a madman. You definitely are. You're crazy. You look down at me with all that pity in your eyes. I think Risa must be Tepe's mistress. Yeah, his booty caller. Shit, shit, shit! What do I do? What do I do, Keiji Maibara? The time I heard um, the noise of a verse. <laughs> Let's try that again. This time I heard the voice of a nurse. I'm a little busy drugging a 15 year old crazy person. <laughs> uh oh! Now, oh, everything's happening at once. Now Uisi wants to talk to us. Yeah, you don't keep Oisi waiting. Coach left to go answer the phone. The other men headed towards the room with the teapot to make the black tea, like Coach had ordered them to. Fortunately, Coach having to take that phone call meant there would be extra time for me to act. <sighs> I had to decide what to do now. What I let him... Would I let him make me drink this sedative-infused tea, or be held down and thrown into a mental hospital? Nothing would come from st starting a brawl here. They had more people anyway, and they were all bigger than me. If it came to a fight, I wouldn't stand a chance in hell. If I couldn't win against them, then there was only one thing to do. Run. Adrenaline st suddenly rushed into my brain, and my body started to move with a keen instinct, like it had on that night. Alright. My surface temperature quickly cooled, and the transmission routes between my cells enlarged. Using 360-degree visual information, I searched for an escape route. Let's see, I'm, I'm only 1,500 seconds away from my house. I could run that far. I would open the window behind me. Outside was a parking lot. There were no cars. A little beyond that was a bicycle I had taken to get here. I determined that this would be the quickest method of escape. I approached the window swiftly, but with little sound, to raise as little suspicion as I could. With the speed and silence of a shadow, like I had on the night I chased her uncle, I unlocked the window and opened it up. A cool evening breeze wafted in. Oh, this is getting excited. <laughs> I stuck my head out and looked over the parking lot again. Nobody in sight. No need to hesitate. I quietly crawled outside and closed the window behind me. I held my breath and listened carefully. Huh. <sighs> Nobody seemed to have realized I'd run. I'd look around. Then, I jumped onto my bicycle and zoomed away. The pedals clattered under the force. And my bike always creaked like this. Did the pedals always whine every time I pushed down on them? My bike wasn't the only one crying, though. My tears fell as wind cut through them. They rode the breeze and scattered behind me. Ugh! I hate this. I hate this! I'm not the crazy one. Hinamizawa is! Yes, the, enti the entire town, the whole village is crazy. Not you. Uh, if everyone you meet is crazy, you might be the crazy one. How... How dare you treat me like a madman! Die! Die! <laughs> Just fucking die already! This is a perfect encapsulation <laughs> of his mental state right now. 
<laughs> this is probably supposed to be really emotional, but my gosh, it's it's. I just find this hilarious of like <laughs> how much he's denying being crazy when he's very crazy. I believed you. I believed you. Wait, then who the heck is Risa? <laughs> don't answer that if we aren't supposed to know. Ah, I'm not crazy. 